Hey guys, welcome to a new game called Madness Inside. It looks really good, and the dude with a box on his head in the background right there, I'm, I'm a little nervous about. But let's see what it's all about. Reality often surpasses fiction. Frank. Deal. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Wow, that actually looks really nice. Was this in Unreal Five? Answer machine. The subscriber cannot answer the phone. Okay. Well, that sucks. Wow. This is Lieutenant Vic Voigt. Where are you? I found traces of Hartman heading to the hospital, supposedly treated. Where he was supposedly treated. Call me when you hear this. I don't think he's going to call. That's just me. But he could be okay. Never mind. All right. Interesting. All right. How ironic that it all started here and will end here. Yes. DH. That postscript DH or is it all initials? What does it mean? I don't know. Oh, maybe there's something behind the closet? Whoa! Okay. What closet? You mean the bookshelf? Let's do some John McClane in here. You're a rat and run by. Did I just see a sh Oh my god, I thought I just saw a shadow and then I punched it. Is that me? Did I cry? Am I crying? I can't crouch, look under there. Oh, hello. Hello, future me. Hi. Okay. That was weird. Hide. Help. Hide. And see. Seek? Seek. Yeah, my, my thoughts right there. Alright. Um. F U my. Okay. Did I do that? Is that a flashlight? Yes. Uh, yeah, definitely taking that. Worker? In a place like this? What worker? Oh. Hello, future me. Hi. Don't dead open inside. I don't know if I should actually use this. It's kind of frightening. Alright, I mean, maybe I should use it. Your laundry is hanging on the first floor where the tree is... Your clothes is. Okay. Okay. Oh, a sun machine. Before I went to the br 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 brazier, 
Dr. Strauss promised me that the rabbit would bring me a pocket watch. They are watchmakers and control the watch industry all over the world. I've been dreaming about them since childhood, but it's been a long time. I can't even say how long, but the rabbit never came. It can be seen that rabbits have problems with the supply of watches. Is that Alice in Wonderland? Anything on the other side? No. Okay. It sounds like... Um, Alice in Wonderland. Where do I go? Did you find a watch? Hello, future me. I love you so much. Yes, I love future me so much. See anything? All right. Oh, was this? Was this always open? Okay. Did I cough? Looks like them. Office keys. These lunatics. Oh, the mentally ill, of course. Dr. Strauss demands that we say mentally ill in the face of the psychos. So they are supposedly better off. Tell your evil faced monsters from your visions that you're no longer crazy. You've already been promoted to schizophrenic. Hello. What fell? Something fell. place haunted what's going on here oh no this can't be good for me I can't close it thank you Amazing. Name and date unclear. Admitted to Psychiatric Hospital number 347. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Stress induced psychosis, paranoid schizophrenia with hallucinations and delusional ideas. Okay, is this me? Um, okay, medical history. According to the patient, he worked as a police officer and arrived at a call where he found a murdered family. The patient claims that a demon committed the murder which led him to believe that the need to perform a ritual for purification. The officer himself buried the bodies in the backyard, formed the ritual actions, believing this would save the souls of the victims and prevent further attacks by the demon. I can understand why he's here. Anyway, psychiatric evaluation. The patient underwent a thorough psychiatric examination during which the signs of severe psychosis and paranoid schizophrenia were revealed. He experiences severe hallucinations and relief in the existence of demons. He also displays a high degree of anxiety and paranoia, considering himself a protector from supernatural threats, which manifests itself in his aggression actions and ritual practices. Treatment and dynamics. Okay. The patient is described a complex therapeutic course, including antipsychotic drugs to stabilize his mental state, as well as antidepressants to relieve anxiety symptoms. Regular psychotherapy is carried out to clarify delusional ideas and reduce the level of, of paranoia. Work is underway to create a safe and predictable environment to reduce stress and anxiety. Prognosis. The prognosis is guarded given the complexity and severity of the patient's condition. Long-term psychiatric observation and regular medical intervention are required. Progress in treatment depends on the degree of response to drug therapy and 
and psychotherapeutic message methods. Okay. Awesome. How does this help me? And is that me? I'm assuming it's probably me. What is this? Oh, it's a book. Oh! Was his stuff cut off? What the? I don't even want to think about it anymore. Oh, what is this? My system. What? That symbol is not on the piano. Okay, this could be a little bit faster. Okay, nothing there. Hello? Oh, here's another one. Two. It's a V. Okay, I think I know what's going on here. I gotta find other two notes. Oh, there's one. All right, so we got one as an upside down question mark, and two is a V. All right, so upside down the V. Oh, and there's that the fourth one. All right, so we're just missing the third. Oh, there it is. Three squigglies. Okay, so I'll sign on question mark V squiggles. I'll sign on V squiggles. V. Wiggles, and then the triangle. Did I do it? Oh, more notes. Okay. I need to familiarize myself once again with the medical history. Features of inpatient treatment and psychological characteristics to the patient from ward number six. The initial analysis revealed indefinite treatment for the psychosis of depression and anxiety and neurosis. He also claims that he belongs to a certain cult of the rose and something else. All right. Several cases of synesthesia were found in patient in ward number 12. Some of them report seeing sounds and feeling colors. It is a it is possible that exposure to the environment and personal associations may exasperate the symptoms. It is recommended to conduct additional research and determine what factors can cause such experiences. Many patients have rather interesting disease, namely catotrophophobia, fear of mirrors. Okay, we should have orderly remove all mirrors from the hospital. Wait. Am I supposed to be doing these backwards, maybe? Hello? Alright, let's try doing it backwards. So it's... Wait, so, uh, wait. Question... B swiggles. Oh, did I do it wrong? Did I just not hit the last button right? I don't know. I seem to have worked by accident. <laughs> we got a key. Uh, shale? Shale? Whatever. No, no, no. I mean, I, no, I want the key. Ooh, do you want to play? What? Who? What does the note say? David Hartman. Uh... Acute schizophrenia and memory loss. Okay. The patient was 
I need to find out why he came back here and brought me. And find his room. They didn't find something there. Okay. The patient was admitted to psychiatric hospital after a series of violent incidents. Preliminary data indicates that David killed nine people using a screwdriver. How? The patient had no known history of mental disorders up to this point. Uh, the patient is complex case of acute schizophrenia, at times pronounced psychotic. Symptoms are evident, including hallucinations and delusions. There is significant disorientation in time and space. The loss of memory makes it difficult to conduct a detailed analysis of the patient's history. The patient is receiving intensive therapy, including antipsychotic medications to control the symptoms of schizophrenia. Psychotherapy and rehabilitation sessions are also conducted to restore memory and mitigate social impairment. Measures are taken to ensure the safety of staff and others. Prognosis remains poor due to the complexity of the clinical picture. The patient's insanity requires long-term monitoring. The safety of others is a priority, and the long-term, the patient requires ongoing medical intervention. Who am I? And who wants to play? How do I get out of here? Never mind. Oh, is that the key to get out? Oh, hmm. This seems ominous. Abandon hope all you who enter here. Dante. Okay, so this is one of the levels of hell. Abandon hope all you who enter here. Hmm. I'm watching you. Okay. Oh, good God, there's eyes everywhere. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. But chewing. Oh. I don't like this. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, is this open? Oh, crap, it opens. Can I run? No, I can't run. But am I just... Oh. I don't know, am I supposed to go this way? Or am I supposed to go back? Oh, what? What's the noise? Why is there a noise? Who made the noise? Yes, I'm a little paranoid, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh. Hello? What's in the box? Oh. Open. There's a note. I better put a door on this while I'm in here. That's, one, that's actually one of my fears, going exploring the place in like an old jail cell or something, and I go in there, and the door slams shut and locks. No cell service, yeah. Basically just slowly... Starving to death. Alright, that's too hard to read, I'm not gonna try. If you want, you can... Maybe pause here and try reading it yourselves. Slowly go down a little bit. There you go. Maybe it's the same thing on the paper, I don't know. Dr. Miller says that each ward is our cozy corner. 
isolated from the outside world. She is convinced that there is only chaos and danger in the upper floors. I try to accept it, but I constantly feel that something mysterious is hiding in the corridors. I don't like that. Now that I know I gotta look up too. That's kind of pointless. Can someone just climb that? It wouldn't be that hard. Oh, good. There must be an electrical panel that opens these doors. Okay. There's probably... Yeah, words. Probably one all the way back where I came from, maybe. Oh, there's a door. Oh, it's one of the cell doors. Oh, here's one. The, the key to the lock must be somewhere at the entrance. Okay. Somewhere at the entrance of this room, I hope. Oh, there it is. What's that always there? I know no one's going to follow me. Of course, it's probably going to take me longer to run if I have to run suddenly, so. The only place I have to place to run would be to my own cell, which I would be trapped there anyway. Oh, I got to unlock that thing with the fuse. Can I just do it from here? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, that's a terrifying sound to hear. That's even worse. Oh. Block C. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're not dead. Do I run or? You have one big gash on your side there, buddy. Oh, you probably look better. Those caskets are that. Ah! Mm -hmm. I knew something was gonna happen, but still. Okay, what's the note say? Oh, yep. Okay. Okay. Reality. Everyone thinks that the brain has no direct connection to reality. We perceive the world through our senses, which transmit the information to the brain, where it is transformed into a picture of reality. This is how it works for most people. Both schizophrenia and the signals are distorted. The brain creates a false picture by adding non-existent information. People can hear voices or see things that don't exist. Your reality is different from the objective one. What if their reality is the real one and we're seeing the messed up one? Let's not go down that road. Okay. Oh. Oh. He had a bad night. Oh, chess. Amica Games, Pieces of Me. In the 1960s, the city was happy to open the doors to students at the new school number one. But no one could imagine the madness it would reign within these walls, sowing panic throughout the city. The year is 2009. The main character, Grisha, goes to the city of his childhood in search of his missing sister. After the story, is, story in the creepy village, Grisha cannot 
calm down, and relying on himself, he visited the abandoned school in order to find at least some clues about the whereabouts of his sister. Oh, the synopsis on the back of the book. Is this a real book, I wonder? Is my worst nightmare happening right now? Oh, it did. There's a hidden drawer in the board. Maybe try to finish the game. It looks like Arabic checkmate, but you need to move Rook to B1. Unhappy, mentally ill people lived within these walls, who were then buried in the local cemetery. Societies reject those minds are sick, treat them as infected. Do these special creatures understand why they were locked up in the clinic? Did they consider themselves normal, or were they aware of their own insanity? It's funny how the behavior of the insane always entertains the sane. PSDX. That is a free app. Cool. Take the cards. Hmm. All right. What? Okay. Oh, I do not like the idea of this. Oh, what? 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 what, what okay. Oh, roommates. That's probably a smart thing to do when you have our mentally ill people together. Sure. They get along. Are you done with this? I have a deck. I might need that card. Yes, it's my ace. Oh, Jesus, my. Oh, that was it. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> That was madness inside. That was great. I really enjoyed that. It looked great. I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. It's uh, available on Steam, it looks like. Um, if I can find the Steam page, I'll add it into my description with the where I got it from, too. But, yeah. Let me know what you um, thought about it in the comments. Please leave a like and a subscribe. It would be great. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.